Today on What It's Like, we are back at the Gilmore Auto Museum located in Hickory Corners, Michigan to take a closer look at what the carriage barn has to offer. But before we go into the carriage barn, let's talk a little bit about the Gilmore Auto Museum located in Hickory Corners, Michigan. It sits on a 90 acre campus features 14 different barn slash buildings. Some of the buildings look like old dealerships, like they have a Cadillac dealership, a Lincoln dealership, a Ford dealership, and a Franklin dealership. Super cool place. If you ever get the chance to go, I definitely recommend going. They have lots of programs there, like you could drive a Model T, you can ride in a classic car. They got all kinds of different classic cars that you can ride in. Between the months of May and September, from 5 to 8 o'clock on Wednesday, they have a cruise in. It's super cool. It's definitely worth checking out. So there's all kinds of different barns here. This barn is called the Carriage House. This is Donald Gilmore's car collection, which began as a hobby, only months earlier grew so fast. He purchased a farm across the street from his mid-1963 home. Construction started almost immediately on this unique high ceiling carriage house intended for displaying his autos. So that is the carriage house. This is, this is the same barn. So let's go inside and see what's in here. There is an upstairs, but it's closed off. I think it's more or less just a balcony. But just look at how high these ceilings are. Almost like a vaulted ceiling. So starting off here in the front, this car is a 1932 Chrysler Imperial CL closed coupled sedan. Look at how gorgeous this is this would rival the Packards of its day be right up there with Auburn such a nice car right here in the center this is a 1927 Rolls-Royce Phantom torpedo Look at the fenders. Look at how they're flared inward. 1930 Packard Custom 8 Phaeton. Just wow. And look at the Packard in comparison to the Imperial. And that's what I mean. Like, just look at these two cars. I love how this grill comes to a peak. I love the hood ornament. And the Packard over here has better colors. And it just looks so proper with all of the lights going on. Goddess of Speed. Look at these wing windows. Look at this hinge. Look at how all of it's done. Absolutely gorgeous car. It has two windshields. Windshield for the back passengers as well. This is a 1939 Packard 12 Coupe. 1939 is one of my favorite years for Packard. I absolutely love the grill, how it's contrasting colors. It's body color, chrome and or stainless body color, and it alternates. Also, I'm not sure if this is correct, but this is the grill, the shell is the same color as the car. Look at these nice creases here. absolutely stunning car like I can stand next to this and it feels like it's talking to me I don't have the same feeling when I stand next to a Ferrari Porsche or Lamborghini but this this is just class 
this is a car that I want one day. I would love to own one of those, as well as the trailer that's connected to it, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Rumble seat. Notice the steps getting into the rumble seat has a nice trunk. I wonder if you have a trailer, can you still use the trunk rack? In the comment section below. Right here, 1937 Studebaker Coupe Express. My favorite truck of all time. They only made this truck one year and it's technically a car with a bed. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right next to it's a 1910 Hup Mobile runabout model 20 look at the gas tank the gas tank looks like a huge muffler this one doesn't have any gauges so i guess you gotta guess everything it's got settling Acetylene lamps. Here's your horn. Look at those horns. This is a 1937 covered wagon trailer. I'm not into trailering or camping, but would be into it if this was my trailer. This is a 1938 Chrysler Royal four-door touring sedan. I love the fender skirts. Look at that. I think this is the building that has most of the cars that I like in it. This one's a 1934 DeSoto Airflow. One of my all-time favorite cars. I think I like the Chrysler better. The DeSoto the difference between the DeSoto and the Chrysler are the DeSoto is shorter up here. It rides a shorter wheelbase. Also has a six cylinder under the hood instead of a straight eight. But notice it has two cows just like the Chrysler. Both windshields crank open just like the Chrysler. The Chrysler gauges are more in the center. It has a his and her glove box. This one doesn't have that, but just take a look at this interior. The car's absolutely gorgeous. Over here, this is a 1931 Buick Victoria Coupe. And right next to it, 1934 Continental Beacon four-door sedan. I've never seen a Continental in person. So it's cool that they have one here. Both rear hinge doors. Just look at this interior. Look at the rear seat. So this is the door. It comes to like three quarters of the way, almost half of the rear door. But it looks like there's lots of space back there for people to sit. Up next, this one's a 1934 Continental Beacon two-door coupe. So it's identical to the one that we just looked at, only it's two doors instead of four. And then right here, finishing out this barn, 1932 Chevy Deluxe Sport Roadster with rumble seat. I absolutely love this era of Chevy. Looks like a mini Packard, doesn't it? Also, check out this hood ornament. How cool is that? They look so much more high class than a Model A. It's 
It's got a rumble seat in the back and a trunk. Now it's time for Would You Rather Museum Edition. What car out of this building would you like to own? For me, that's a hard question. I like the Packard. I like the Chrysler Imperial, the DeSoto Airflow. All of these cars really can appeal to me. But I'm interested to see what you like. So in the comment section below, which ones did you like? Now it's time for Name That Tune. First person to get both the name of the band and song title. First person to do both correctly will have their comment pinned to the top of the comment section. I forgot how awesome that song is with the piano and the drums in the background. The drum fills for the time period of this song is just incredible. I heard this at a wedding yesterday. I shot a wedding. I do photography on the side. I got my hands on a lot of stuff. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming out and watching this. If you'd like to reach out to me and talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, shoot me a comment in the comment section below or check out our Facebook group that correlates with this YouTube channel. If you don't have Facebook and would like to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, send me an email. All of that will be linked in the description below. Just know I appreciate all the support. And until next time, toodaloo! Hey, hey, mama said the way you move, go, man.